Now I have absolutely no illusions. This video is probably gonna be very, very boring. I've got bandwidth to kill though for the end of the month for my phone and I've got a task to do, which I'm interested in. So everyone else might be as well. I'll pull up the chat over here on the other computer that I've got on the floor. But what I'm gonna do, convert my old, well, it's not that old, kicker one here with the gray chevrons to, oh, sorry, the light. I've got Jira to tell you pink stickers. So what I'm gonna do, I'll sit here with the live chat going over here on this computer. I'll get these stickers installed and everyone can come along and pick out my uh, discrepancies with not being able to stick these on too well. So again, pretty boring video coming up, but I love customizing these kickers and I've got bandwidth to burn. Let's give it a crack. So here we go with getting these pink stickers on. But in the meantime, just hum to yourself while I uh, try and pull up the live stream chat window. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is make sure this is clean. A lot of these kickers will have drag marks. So you can see drag mark there, a bit of oil on here. And just general dust and crap everywhere. So let me clean all that off. Make sure it's all good. One sec, I'm just gonna grab the uh, chat window up. Open live chat. There we go. Quentin LeFay, I'm good, mate. I'm really good today. Well, I've had a bit of a session on Llama Live. We've had a go on Instagram Live. Too much time in my hands, absolutely, Russell. Okay, so if I could spin, actually get ready for it. I'll spin the camera around, it's not gonna be pretty. Here's how I'm mounting this uh, this setup here. That's my foot, that's, okay, let's not see too much. Let me spin the camera back. So I've just cleaned the kicker. One of many, and it's time for some Juro stickers. So I've got 14 of these puppies to put on. Yeah, Drew, they do have dust on them, even with my OCD. So what do I do? I just stick them over top rather than pull them off. It's easy to stick them on top. I'm not sure if this camera's going to get it too well. But they're um, vinyl stickers, so they're sort of, they're not paper. They will last nice. So they will last a while. So over top, look at that. How cool, I, I don't know why, sorry, you can't even see it probably with the, with the lighting, apologies for that. I've got a bit of light blaring away here. I call this one the Rafa Cycling Club, check that out. If that's not Rafa, how cool is, I mean it's such a small thing and I'm sorry for pulling everyone through this but you know I get excited. How cool is that? 10 points, thank you. Can I get 20 points? So, look at that, that's Rafa Cycling Club right there. <laughs> Straight up, you thought RCC. I tell you what, so tell me, Wahoo and RCC, hang on, I should put my face in this picture. I'll get my face on the derailleur. Sorry, I'm going to have really bad angles for this video tonight, but Wahoo and RCC have just announced a partnership too. So they're going to put kickers, well, probably not kicker ones, kicker twos. Hang on, see the pink? They're going to put these in every um, RCC store. They can't go out with just the grey though. The grey chevrons, no way. Look at that pink. Well, when it stops doing that, look at that. Super cool. Feminine side, hell yeah. I'm all for that. This, I should put this on Vons as well. But the Giro is coming up. Um, that's one down. We've got 13 to go. So I've got the chat window up over here. Do one black, one grey, yeah. Okay, let's try that for now. I can, I'll do alternating and we'll spin it and we'll see how it goes. But thanks for the interaction. I think that's what the internet's all about. I should actually be writing this thing rather than putting pretty stickers on it. But let's have a let's have a lazy day today. See, look at that. Sweet. I get excited over very very minimal things, but that that's made my day. I have a pretty unexciting day. So we're going to get every second one. Then we'll spin it up and see it go pinky white or something. It's investing in stickers that'll spin and say llama when it spins, that's just getting, don't give me ideas. 
that's not coming out. Oh, sorry, I'll try and change the lighting on this. I'm blowing the lighting out. How's that? It's probably a little better. You can see what's going on. Save a few for the Neo. No, no, I've got those little fish stickers. I've got the Jesus fish stickers for the Neo. If you get the in-joke there, high fives. Not on the Jesus part, but on the fish part. Oh! Oh! Crikey. Okay, this is going to be a boring part because I'm going to go find the knife and pick that one off. I will have a brain aneurysm if I leave that where it is. <laughs> There we go. Ah, oh, yeah, sweet. That went on way too. I just, yeah, that was way too loose. There we go. Much better. It's crooked. And it's triggering. Ellie. Yeah, me too, man. Is it? Is that okay? Is that better? Because that last one just did my head in, so I had to pull out a bit of, bit of that. Bit of the old. That's not a knife. That's a Leatherman. Uh, what else? Next one. Well, what else? That's all I'm doing. This is just repetitive. What am I saying? Now, all I'm doing is just covering the existing ones that are there. I'm not taking off. Rainbow would be cool, yeah. Hell yeah, I've already got yellow. Um, I've already done a yellow one a while back. So it looks pretty cool. How are we looking now? Oh, yeah! If you're a member of RCC and you're not drooling right now, you have to hand your membership back. Look at that. I'm so happy with that. Uh, Robert, I was a hand model. Kind of. Kind of. If you look up the Q Boulevard tax, someone was dropping tax as in little pins years ago. And I was going out there picking up with a few different devices. And uh, notice how I stopped talking when I got to concentrate. Um, and I had a handful of tacks like that, and you can see my wedding ring in a lot of it. So I was sort of like, um, is it David Duchovny? What's that movie? Anyone? Anyone? Somebody? Yeah, do it. Go to the clubhouse and show that. If because the, yeah, the 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 RCC Wahoo link that's now been announced, the partnership. They if they're not doing kickers like that, they're not doing it right. They're definitely not doing it right. This looks cool. I'm going to do it all pink, but I think this just, this looks cool for now. That's why I wanted to record it, just to show people what we can do. You try to kick her at TFM today. They should have green stickers. I've got some green stickers. TFM should do green sticker kickers. You've got to personalise these things. If you're spending this much money... People want it to be theirs. Where did I get them from? I had these cut myself. I went to a local sticker cutter or a vinyl cutter and had somebody actually just sort of cut the design for me on a bit of paper here. After I got the idea from the, uh, the yellow ones. I'll go for a walk in a sec. Rafa owe me some design fees. No, Rafa will probably sue me for doing this. Just kidding. RCC kickers for an extra hundred bucks. <laughs> I am ready for live speed. So there we go. That's installed. Hang on. I'll get my ugly face in the mix here. So we've got them installed. They look pretty cool. I'll do the rest in a minute. But how cool is that? I'm so into customizing my kicker. It's such a little niche thing. But let's give it a spin on the bike and see what color it goes. Hipster. Mode engaged. I don't have my Yeezys on though. Sweet! <laughs> Ooh, I think so too, everyone. I really do. That triggers my epilepsy. <laughs> Alrighty. Pink doping, hell yeah. Strawberry smoothie. That's the way. 
All right, so let's get the rest of them on. Because, I mean, that looks cool in itself, but I want to do the whole lot. So I'll get the rest of these done up. And I'll show you my others. I have orange and yellow as well we've done. And we have one more on here. Ever since I got sent a yellow one. Now, the link was somebody from Perth had a set of the yellow ones from Wahoo, which was part of a, um, a promo they did at the Tour de France, I think it was last year. And so I've had a yellow one for a while. Again, there's me stopping talking to concentrate. It's like when you're driving somewhere in the car. It's like, shut up, kids, shut up in the back. I'm trying to find out where I'm going. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. I really do. So I had the yellow one for a while, but I was missing one chevron. Uh, long story short, and it's all about who you know. Um, one of the, get this, the app developer for the Wahoo element was in New Zealand and saw some of my stuff and ended, ended up sourcing me one, two chevrons or one spare replacement chevrons. Why the fuck am I live streaming this? Mate, because I got bandwidth to burn and I think it's kind of fun. So just enjoy. If not, just click away. I'll be. I'll put something else up tomorrow. But this is about smart trainers and something I'm passionate about, and I want to share it with everyone. And I think it's pretty cool. So it's not for everyone. That's cool. Definitely not for everyone. But I do have the live stream chat up here on the side computer. So, Joe, um, I hope your fucking hell was it was because it was okay and, and good to look at, not because you're bored. It's not for everyone though. But anyway, this also plays as a how-to video for whoever wants to get a set of these off me when I get them out there. But uh, any questions at all? New segment, Pit My Trainer, hell yeah. Is Slang going <laughs> Slang going to get pink Crocs? I hope so. Any questions, keep them firing because I've got the questions on the computer over here. Yeah, don't catch your mum watching videos of some 38-year-old bald dude in Melbourne putting pink stickers on his smart trainer. That's a little bit off and I have some spare so it's coming back off. Did I cut it? Nope. I wasn't happy with that one. I'll put it down here for the viewers. Oh, the Crossroads 09, 10 bucks. Thanks, mate. <laughs> I'll put that to good use, mate. Not sure what on, but it'll be something to do with bikes. Uh, thoughts on veganism? Too big of a topic for a live stream, John? Um, no, look, I, I respect what others do and eat. Um, that's I don't choose to do that. That's that's cool. Um, there are there are a huge presence on the on the internet for sure, especially Facebook and cycling. Sorry, Facebook, uh, YouTube and cycling. Again, me going quiet and steady. I'm not a brain surgeon, as you can tell. Ah, oh, Pad Connolly, good stuff, Muddy. But uh, yeah, but the uh, what do you think of Shimano's SPD sandals, man? Or, I don't know. They'd be handy for just cruising, I guess. Would you get a rainbow kicker if you're a world champ? Mate, you can get a rainbow kicker if you want, no matter if you're not world champ. If you support the world champ, I'd be all for a rainbow kicker. I was going to say there was a hair stuck in that one, but you wouldn't believe me because I have none. Okay. Exactly right. Yep, men can only do one thing at a time properly. That's why I shut up and once I'm sticking those on. Again, if you've watched this far, look, I do apologize. This is not my standard stuff, which I tend to say more and more often these days as I put more and more different things up on here. But look, it's all a bit of fun and it's always a bit of, um, it's all about the community that jumps in for the chat session because I am watching the chat session. And if you're bored, yeah, here we go. Shut up, Shane. Ah, oh, no. Nah. Do you want to know how bad, okay, if I can get the camera in there, if you get, can't actually see. There's like, I won't even try and explain it. I'll just fix it. Just shut up and fix it. Will these stickers make you faster? No, absolutely not. But if they make you spend time with your equipment and have a bit more fun and you customize something, just tinker. You know where people tinker with cars? 
You know how people tinker with, I don't know, smoking cigarettes? Fucking tinker with this shit and other people get into it as well. That's kind of cool. I like the idea of that. And the more time you spend something, the more it becomes yours and not something you've just bought off a shelf. Best energy bars. Man, I love Cliff Bars. You know I love Cliff Bars. Sorry, I'm, I am behind the camera here just t chatting away. So I'm just sort of tinkering here. So I am reading the live stream. So apologies for not being very interpersonal there with my chats. Couldn't you have got one of those kickers in a strip? Yeah, you can. But the overlay... Um, when you sort of put them on all at once like that and then tear them off, because I'm not taking the other stickers off, I'm just overlaying them on top. It's so hard to line up, and I'm talking like lining up within like a pistinct of a millimeter, like so small. So I don't mind, and again, it's kind of therapeutic doing something and finishing it off and doing it right. But what we've got here is we've gone from Hey Shane from Germany, love your videos. Help me back again on bikes after 10 years. Lost 15 kilos, holy, awesome, that's cool. And you're from Germany. Man, how do you lose weight in Germany? Oh, I think I put on about three kilos in Germany at Eurobike. Uh, will increase weight of the stickers on the flywheel increase spin down time? Very, very interesting question. I mean, if you could measure, if, if this was actually, see, that's how, the, that's how the old firmware used to work on the Kicker 1 here with the strain gauge. That's no longer engaged. It's the spin down time of this and the brake speed. So effectively, this contributes to, like, it wouldn't be even measurable. Let's say 0.1 of a second of further brake time, then it's going to be factored into when you do an advanced spin down. Does that, I think that answers the question. In other words, absolutely. Like, so much bugger all, like, it wouldn't even be, all, like, yeah. Power meters aren't that good yet. Sticker science with Llama. OCD sticker science. So we're done. We are done. But just a quick rundown on how the, uh, the differences, and I've got to cover this in a whole new video as well, but how the old power meters used to work on the Kicker 1 that I've got here, that disc that you can hear moving in the background, that had the strain gauges on it. So the more this, this moved around, and then that pushed that brake forward a little bit, and then your watts went up. So the more this was braking, the more that was pushed forward, and there's your power. That's now gone. Well, the new firmware, you can disable strain gauge mode, so that, and it goes to model mode. So it all know, it's all about the power being put into this for the brake, and that knows how much power. So it's more computational, and it's actually pretty good. One test if you want to do, if you want to ride along, I have someone ride your kicker, and you just press this forward, you can go into super mad mode, but let's not talk too much about how to cheat with Swift. It doesn't work too well as well. If you push really hard on that, you go to 700 watts, you'll trigger the flyer thing anyway. But there we have it. Super cool. We'll give this a quick spin and I'll show you my other ones as well in the room. So thanks for dropping along for this one. Again, it's not my normal stuff that I do. You know, you guys know that by now. But it bucks. So let's give this a whirl. That is awesome. Super cool. Except my crutch in the shot there. Let's get that out of there. Eric the banana peel, thank you. <laughs> RIP headphones. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. But Eric, so satisfying. Exactly, mate. And thank you for, uh, yeah, you get it. That's exactly why I wanted to stream this. It's, it's just something different sat there and polished polish my kicker yeah you need a new kicker now you need to get a kicker now absolutely so how cool is that let me show you the other ones one sec I'll get them set up here in the room um, this room I've actually got this phone on charge so it's not gonna get too far with that but let me get my other ones set up so you can see those spin as well so I have Here's the kicker two. So they're the same sticker size. So orange, so your Strava orange or your Zwift orange, sorry, it's gotta go that way. 
So there's the orange one, which looks kind of cool. And the original yellow, which is... Over here. And there's the yellow. Which, see, the old kicker doesn't have the kind of handle that the new one does. That's why they put a new handle on the thing. And there's the yellow one. Looking kind of cool. I have two other kickers as well out there being hired out at the moment because the ones I'm not using get hired out. Um, I'll probably put the blue or the white ones on those. I think it looks pretty cool. Let me show you what happens when the stickers go bad. This is what happens when stickers go bad. And I've got to feed this back to um, Cyclops as well. See that? Bit of droopy. Droopy stickers. So the kickers that I oh, the, the stickers that I got for the kickers though I made sure Jesus that line. I gave them a full rundown with these stickers that I put on the kickers as well because those things really heat up quite a lot. Um, so they'll expand and contract. Um, but I ran about three or four hours on Zwift pretty hard just to make sure these stickers are gonna stick on and not do what this one's doing. And they've held up pretty pretty well. Pretty pretty well, is that a word? So Cyclops, you need to go see my sticker man. But all up, the hammer is a good trainer. I like it. We'll do some more stuff on it soon with the uh, the new power meters. Okay, let me see if I can just get this set up. I'll do a quick Q and A with this set. The uh... oh, I'm going flat soon, so apologies for that. So I've got the, the chat session up here next to me. If you've got any questions about any smart trainers, we'll do a quick Q and A as I give everyone vertigo and set up. But I was going to be riding my bike tonight, but I end up just tinkering with it instead. Does everyone else get that as well? Pant leg action, yeah, Don. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I was uh, riding to and from the post box, actually sending stickers out to people, um, catching the postman, because I put up in Australia here that I can post these out ASAP in Australia. So I set up my web store for those just to get them a few out. So I'm keen to see how they go, how people get to put them on. And like what we did tonight, that came out pretty cool. So I've got the questions coming through here, so fire away guys. I've got about five or so minutes of battery life left in this thing. Um, I'll get that screen behind me to stop. Oh, I'll leave it to this thing. Who would win the Giro? No idea, no idea, but if they had a pink stickered kicker, they're in for a chance. When's my next Zwift race? Don't know. Sorry, i got battery mode problems on my camera. Uh, Dumoulin, yeah. Wife doesn't like the nose, what train will I recommend? A, mm, these ones. Get yourself a Neo. I'm in a bit of a position here that I can't actually get back to. All right, if that falls off the bench, I blame you. <laughs> I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> uh, Neo, Neo for sound, definitely. Um, but if, you've, if sound isn't a problem, um, I still go back to my kicker. I like the kicker. Uh, is the kicker 2 as loud as your pink one? Yeah, my kicker 2 isn't really that quiet. You, they said the kicker 2, it's, it's a little bit less loud. It's still not quiet though, definitely not. If noise is your number one concern, you have to go to Neo. That's the only one at the moment. The driver is also pretty quiet. Um, the hammer is a, is a little bit quieter than the kicker. But what's up with the tax flux? Don't know. Don't know, haven't had round three. Maybe round three soon. We'll see what happens. Bike insurance recommendations. Um, or Send me a message on that one. We've got race bike insurance through Cycle Cover, I think, but they also do home insurance. It's a bit of a myth. Yeah, it's a bit of a shit. Tips on youth cycling. Um, I've done that before on my uh, live stream on Insta, if you saw that one. They disappear though. Um, just enjoy it. Just enjoy your cycling. Don't stress about being noticed, about being on a team, about being this or that. Just enjoy your cycling and be consistent. And if you enjoy it, um, and if you're going to make it as a pro and only not even a small percent of people make it as pros, then it'll happen. It'll happen. You'll have the talent. It'll come through. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Um... Anything's quieter than my LD one. Someone has an LD trainer? Cool. Anything is quiet with a set of um, noise cancelling headphones. See those things? And they don't sweat up. I've got, well, they kind of do, but you just, like, it's again, it's about the experience. If you can get 12 months out of a good set of headphones, chuck them out. You've got 12 months of good writing and good television or good whatever you're watching, good entertainment. Better than just, just 12 months of screaming noise in your ear. 
Uh, when's a new Power Meter video coming soon, Dave? Um, I haven't had time to sort of sit down and go through all the data analysis. Um, and I don't just want to sit, it's probably going to end up being this that I, I'll say that I don't want it to be this, but I'll just sit down and talk about the graphs. Boring. I'd rather go out and write it and tell you about it, but you can only analyze post ride. So, um, but it's, it's, it's working fine. There's no dropouts. Um, it's reading consistently, consistently a little bit higher than my other power meters. Um, will we compare with the P1? Yeah, Vaughan, I, um, I've compared it with the P1 and the Neo. I did one two hour ride, I think, the other day, and I put all three together on Ray's tool. Um, again, I'm trying to come up with better ways to describe it and make it entertaining because I keep doing the same shit. It's just. But as I said, you watch, I'll do that. And <laughs> that's all I'll end up doing. Uh, what else is happening? The range just started here in Melbourne. That's about it, hence my um, obsession with indoor trainers and uh, getting them all sorted. Uh, rollers or trainer, uh, Bryce, they do different things. Rollers will work on your leg speed. Um, you will never ever be able to put out a, an effort at FTP or above or well above FTP on a set of rollers. You'll be on the floor pretty quick. What a fixed trainer allows you to do is go into zones and sustained efforts in zones you'll just never hit um, indoors on a set of rollers. So rollers have their place, but You've got to have such an amount of skill to ride them at mass wattages. They're just, it's just not applicable. Uh, if you want your short, smart training time done, get on a trainer. Any sort of fixed trainer is better than a set of rollers just for actually just loading the legs up and loading the lungs up. Tips on improving FTP massively. Be very, very consistent with your training. That's it. Uh, pedal pricks. Pedal pre? Pedal pre, Blake. I'm not sure. No, haven't heard anything about a pedal pre. Does a kicker connect to an Edge 1000? Probably, but if you're riding indoors, get a computer or a phone. Um, connecting a head unit to a smart trainer, it can be done, but it's, yeah, I, I, it's interesting and they sell as a selling point for a lot of trainers, like, oh, it can control the trainer. Great, this thing can, can control the trainer and the telephone I'm talking on here, the phone I'm talking on here, can control the trainer 10 million times better than a little head unit, especially one that you've got to press a million buttons for it to even start. Uh, kicker 1 versus stages accuracy. Okay, kicker 1 accuracy. Um, Keith, the kicker with the new firmware, so 1563 or 1564. Um, if not, do the secret mode, get to the new beta of 1568 and go to advanced spin down. Get your kicker reading into model mode, not strain gauge mode. Um, they are really, really good. Once it's warmed up, so 10 minute warm up, do an advanced spin down. I have the firmware that allows you to do an advanced spin down. Have it switch over to um, model mode, not strain gauge mode, where it determines the power from the effort put into the, or the power put into the re brake resistance rather than the actual strain gauge. And they've, they've, my testing has been really, really good on that. Really good. It's kept my um, original kicker in check because that was that was always a little low, always a little low, and it did my head in for ages. Where we'll be at Tour de TDU in 2018. Uh, we're always over there for the week in Adelaide, whether we've got commitments with. Um, Third parties, um, sure. If not, we just go over as a holiday. With the training workout, can you get to a point where it's not effective for improving? Wheeltube asks pretty much this, uh, a question regarding plateauing, I think. If you do the same stuff over and over again, you'll get to a certain point point. you will not continue to improve. So it's about breakthrough workouts. You need to, your training will get to a certain level and you'll be certain fitness. If, if again, my five by five that I love, you get to a certain level, you've got to do something different. Either increase the power, increase the duration, increase, um, yeah, or decrease the recovery time. You've got to change things to continue to improve because you will plateau. Stage is worth it for a super budget. Sure, stages uh, version two, gen two or four i. Um, keep your receipt with any cycling tech. Keep your receipt. How um, responsiveness for model mode compared to strain gauge mode in regard to short sprints? Uh, responsiveness as in power reporting or responsiveness as in resistance kicking in? There's sort of two different things in regard to responsiveness. Um, hasn't been too bad in the initial testing I did a while back. But I'll tell you what though, the new firmware for the kicker on the, like the undulations, if you ride Zwift and you run through the S's, it is brilliant. It is so good. They just kick straight in and it's, there's hardly any lag or any delay. Thoughts on limits, power meter? No, no thoughts on limits. I haven't even looked into that. I can't cover everything. A lot of my tech, I'm not really, I'm not employed as a reviewer. I just, it's whatever I can sort of hunt and gather myself. So either I pay for it, if I'm lucky enough, a company will want me to sort of have a look at something for them. Um, but that's very, very few things that I cover. So I get a lot of questions about Lazine and about polar head units and things like that. I'm not your standard Raymaker. 
Um, but I'll grab whatever I can and you know talk about whatever I can if I've got the time. Um, but jump on uh, places like Amazon, Ray's forums. The the best thing about Raymakers or DC Raymakers stuff is go down to the user comments. So have a look at your, your product you're looking at. Go straight to the comments and usually scroll all the way to the bottom and then start scrolling up from there. You'll get the current people's, I guess, the general feel and overview of something with its current firmware or the current status or any feedback from companies who have produced a product that may be good, may be bad, may have turned, may have gone into business. Right in the bottom of those comments is some absolute gold. They're really, really good. It's, it's the community contribution to that sort of stuff that makes it so good to read. Uh, what's the fastest pickup on a train of getting fed up on sprints? Uh, the fastest, so you want power responsive, uh, or power meter responsiveness. You need strain gauges, and a double sided strain gauge power meter on your cranks or your pedals will give you the snap right there, no buggering around. Have I met Ray before? Yeah, I met him over at Eurobike last year. We went for a ride over in Adelaide, Vaughn and I and Ray. We're hanging out in Adelaide. Um, super great guy. Um, and like what you see with my stuff, what you see is what you get. There's no bullshit. It's just. A dude who just really enjoys his stuff and uh, tells it like it is. Not, and not in a malicious way, um, which some companies do interpret it as interesting stuff. Tour to Yorkshire. No, I didn't see any Tour to Yorkshire. Caught up on a few um, just stages catch-ups. And if I get the time tonight, what is it, half past seven here at night, I might jump on and watch a few highlights, like I do on SBS here, a lot of on the computers. Uh, did Rao turn you off carbon clinches, mate? I've got some horror stories of carbon clinches. Don't worry about that. Rao didn't turn me off them. Rao just reaffirmed what I already knew. Bring on carbon um, carbon rims with uh, disc brakes. Sorry, it's getting late and I've done live stream for the last hour or so. We did Alarm Alive here with the camera and Vaughn, so we covered last week, which was really good today. And then I went over to uh, Insta Live, which disappears. Um, so it's just a chatty night, I guess. But I hope you enjoyed the uh, the pink stickers going on. Thoughts on Canyon bicycles? Yeah, they look all right. Look, all, all new bicycles, I think. And again, I'm, I'm showing my age here. I started cycling when bikes had stems like round stems and round handlebars and you can just put shit on them as well like a, uh, a, a Garmin mount on the front maybe or a quad lock and this and that all these bikes are going to these supercar style customized handlebars that's what I can't stand about them and I run you know I want to run 36 centimeter centimeter handlebars I think these are 38s on here um, a lot of those bikes you've got to buy them they're just so they look look really really good but the actual function and this is not just canyon this is across the board now every bike manufacturer is doing it and they're not gonna they're not gonna sell bikes so they keep old school but for me personally i love the old school stuff um well things that i can modify and change and buy a set of bars on that i have to customize i mean seriously having to buy a, a, a set of bars and a stem specific to just your bike that doesn't have a lot of lifespan in it that's it you're stuck um, carbon clincher stories. Uh, Brandon, another, another day, mate. I got I got a billion stories to tell about carbon clinches and everything else, but um, it's all good. Uh, do, 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 do. Have I been to New Zealand? No, I haven't been to New Zealand. Um, don't most New Zealand most New Zealanders come to Australia? Isn't that how it works? And if they're really good at what they do, we adopt them as Australians. <laughs> Worked for Firelap, didn't it? <laughs> Um, guys, my battery's going flat on the phone, but yeah, give it another five or so. So shoot your questions away. I'll give you some quick fire replies. Uh, plans on doing more videos on workouts. Yeah, look, I could do videos all day long. It's just about getting the time to do it and the editing time. So hopefully, hopefully. That one I've done the other day on training, it was received really, really well. So I really appreciated all the, uh, the feedback on that one. That was cool. Come for Roller and Canberra. Newfie 7 this time of year in Canberra. Hell no, man, that's so cold. How much snow is on the ground there at the moment in camera? It must be at least about seven or eight inches of snow. Uh, where can we get your top Zach Rogers? Um, my Redbubble store. Just go Redbubble space GP Llama. And I've got a ton of just little hacky tops that I've done up. You can look at the bath salts one and just the general Zwift one. And yeah, just my Redbubble store. I think I sell about three or four t-shirts a week. It's pretty funny. I don't really advertise it a lot. I did one video on my Redbubble t-shirts. Sunk. No one watched it. No one cares about sort of buying my shirts. Um... What field of view do I like to use on the GoPro? Good question, Mike. I use um, the, lin is it linear? Is that the mode where it doesn't do the curves on the side? I find that to be pretty good. Actually, it works. Uh, you don't get snow in Oz. Uh, we do get snow in Oz, just a little bit. Not, um, actually, there's, there's ski resorts. Have a look at my video on, someone else will probably know it because people on the internet have a better memory than I, I do. I think it was something like Zwift iOS first look or Zwift iOS on a, 
not Zwift iOS on a budget, but iOS Zwift beta look. I use Zwift on an iPad in the snow in Australia using a Neo. Check it out. Good talking point at Eurobike, actually. People are saying, I didn't know it snowed there. And the guys from Tax were like, oh, I can't believe you took the Neo out in the snow. But it was dry snow, so it wasn't too wet. <laughs> What GoPro collection do I have? I've got a GoPro Hero 3, pretty old school one. That was a wedding present back in 2012. Um, I have a GoPro Hero Session and a Hero 4 Session. Um, the Hero 4 Session is... Is it Hero 5 Session? The new one with the stabilization 5. The one I bought in Adelaide after talking to Ray about it. We're riding along and Ray told me the differences. I'm like, let's go out and buy one. Pricematch.jb. Good one. It's really, really good. I love it. Really good. Uh, nice wedding present. Yeah, it was from the family. They get us. It was from, from uh, Vaughn's side. And they both knew that we were into bikes and making videos and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, GoPro have an awful menu. Yeah, I, the whole interaction with GoPro, mine is I press a button, that's it, done. It's just, oh, if I go 60 frames a second or 30 frames a second, that's the only thing I really change. But GoPro, the little box ones, I've covered them a little bit, but not really what I... Like, there's a ton of videos out on the GoPro 5 Session Hero that you just press, it's just so easy to use. It's really cool. And then I just pull that MP4 footage down either into Verb Edit for the overlays or just straight into Final Cut Pro for whatever I put up on the screen. I haven't done any bike stuff recently though. Best entry level turbo compatible with Zwift. I'm spamming you like crazy. Um, okay, go to gplama.com and go trainer review guide or trainer reviews. I should load it up behind me here, but just gplama.com. Um, and there's a full list there. So I don't know, you know, budget-wise, 10% battery, we're going to die. Um, it's up, yeah, it's up to you. There's a few in that space, but again, there's a few. Um, um, action cam, cheap Chinese action cam, no. Uh, cheap tech scares me and frustrates the hell out of me. How look, expensive tech that I have here frustrates the hell out of me. So where I can, um, I'll get premium, but as you know, I'm a tight ass, so I'm a bit below premium. <laughs> Uh, what does GP stand for in GP Llama? God's Pet, as in God's Pet Llama, as in a llama with two L's. Long story short, just a nickname, um, just a short name that nobody had when uh, Hotmail came around in IRC and GeoCities, I think, back in the day. This is well before most of you were probably born. Experience with uh, Lazine head units? No, none, none. Only the stats that I pull out. Oh, I've got some stats up here on the screen. It's my Insta feed. Power meter or smart trainer? Uh, both, if you can. And uh, it depends what you want to measure. If you want to have a good smart trainer riding experience indoors and you'll be doing four or five sessions a week indoors, get yourself a smart trainer. Power meters do not change your experience of riding. Your physical experience does not change with the power meter. You start measuring stuff, sure. A good smart trainer, your experience changes. So riding up a hill in Zwift or trainer rope, whatever you use, it changes your experience. So make a call on that smart trainer or a power meter. Favorite bike brand? I love my S-Works. I absolutely love my S-Works Tarmac. Um, I cannot justify the new one or a second-hand one. So I went and got a cheap tar TCR just beside me here to put the 11-speed group set on, but I do like those. Is a power meter necessary? Depends on what you want to do. If you want to, if it, it, It's a good way to measure what you're doing. And I've said this a few times in other videos, but a power meter will measure the effort that you're doing so pressing on the pedal, and that does not change. If you can do a headwind, tailwind, uphill, downhill, whatever, it's how hard you're pressing the pedals. Um, a heart rate monitor measures your response to what you're doing, and that response will change. So if you want, like, a, a good story, and I'll just quickly rant, rant this one out before this phone goes flat. Von went out for a ride with me. Von first got a power meter. Well, she's had a power meter for probably six months and went out for a ride with myself and Paul Ambry, a good mate. And you know, we were having a smash fest as the blokes do and Vaughn's off the back and she's having a crap day, we're waiting for her and she's sort of participating in a few sprints and a few nights and she'd come home and she was really depressed, like, oh, that was a shit ride. You know, she really wasn't happy with it. She then pulls up her data and found out she hit PBs for something like 30 seconds and two minutes and I think there's a five minute PB in there when she was chasing us up a long hill. It changed her outlook on it at all and she's like, well, that was actually a good session. So she could have had a, um, you know, heart rate and compare your heart rates or compare speed or compare how she felt like RPE and it was a terrible day. But looking at her power meter, she felt great and then had new targets to hit. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, that was back in the day when we had power taps. Von and I both ran power taps, the old um, hubs. 
not the old, yeah, the older, bigger ones. The newer ones, the G3 are pretty cool. The power meter takes the fun out of a tailwind. What do you mean by that? Well, it tells you how hard you're not pushing, but how fast you're going anyway. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I better leave it there. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for putting up with my general junk of uh, everything in this room here tonight. But I really appreciate the comments. I love sitting down here. Um, look, let's hope one day this can become a voice chat for everyone as well. So people can just come in, talk stuff, talk shit. Um, and we can just have a just a general chit chat session about everyone because there's just, I mean, look, I live in China. Someone's, there's people from all over the world. And if you can, yeah, chat to one person and their experience can just open up everything, which is... Yeah, the internet is crazy. Absolutely. I love it. Absolutely love it. So uh, anyway, I'll go back. To, I better go back to the first thing we started here today. Because if anyone's watched all the way through, like, this video is named a pink trainer. What? And then fast forward. Discord's the answer. Yeah, we'll make a Discord one day. But um, so to everyone, there's a right on. Thanks for coming along. And we'll end up back here on my pink And I'm going to have to put this up on... Um, Sorry, everyone's a bit lopsided. I have to put this up on Instagram soon as well. Bit of a Jiro. There we go. Uh, and there's a, see there's a bit of a wobble in the sticker, not that I'm OCDing that, but that's just where the original stickers were. I don't care too much about that. If you start pedaling a lot harder, they, you don't see them anyway, so. Anyway, thanks for coming along. I'll whack a few photos of this up on Insta. So if you're on my Instagram, Twitter, what else am I on? Facebook, jump along. I've been putting up a bit on Insta lately. This is the Insta over here. I've got some stats from a couple of the rides we've done and all the GPS stats and things that I've been clicking up that I find interesting and a few others have as well. So jump over to our Facebook and I'll put all the links below after this video is done doing its thing. So again, everyone, thank you so much for coming along. Um, I've enjoyed the chats and um, we'll be back soon. See you soon. Oh, there's my finger. Doesn't that look terrible? <laughs>